Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Walking Dead TV Deluxe Box Set, Daryl Dixon and Chopper. As you can see here, I already have this guy out of the box. Uh, John did review him in one of the earlier episodes, which is over on, the, on my personal channel as well as his personal channel. But I thought we'd dedicate one episode completely to reviewing this figure so let's go ahead and take Daryl off the bike and we'll go ahead and take a look at the bike first and foremost all right so here we have his chopper I can't remember exactly what style chopper it is what brand what model and all that and as you can see it is a bit dusty it's been sitting on my shelf since the last time we did the review it comes with a set of saddlebags the saddlebags do not open. I did pre-order this off of Amazon for about $50. It is from McFarland Toys. As you can see here, the saddlebags look very realistic, aside from the dust. Which I think the dust kind of adds to this toy. Uh, because of the uh, era that... Uh, Daryl Dixon exists in the universe he exists in it's going to be dirty it's going to be dusty it's going to be grimy he's got to fight off zombies there's nowhere to wash it at water is very valuable commodity so it's gonna be dirty as you can see it does very much resemble leather with the metal buckles on the strap for the straps then we have here the chopper get to the chopper the chopper as you can see here skull and crossbones there uh, that is actually not screen accurate but I can see why they didn't make it screen accurate because in the screen accurate version uh, this was originally Merle's chopper and Merle was racist and so it had some cracker bolts on the side. I can see why McFarlane Toys opted to put the skull and crossbones on there as opposed to the cracker bolts. Right. And the level of detail in this toy, um, they, they studied motor. This looks like a real motorcycle. Got the engine here, got the carburetor. Try and blow some of that dust off there. You got this little mount for, for Daryl's crossbow. You got the hoses and everything for, to run the gas, run from the gas tank to the engine. And they even sculpted in the license plate. I'm pretty sure the license plate is screen accurate. I could be wrong. But I do believe it is screen accurate. You got the exhaust running along the side here. Very nice. Treads on the wheels. And even the attention to detail on the chain. That is very awesome. And then you got the headlamp. Um, I think the handlebars may have bent over time. They're not really strong. Or maybe even bent in the package. They should pretty much be just like this. And as you can see, they are Gorilla Bars. Gorilla Bars. As it, for those of you who aren't knowledgeable about motorcycles and choppers... Gorilla bars are the high up handlebars. Uh, most motorcycles have lower handlebars. These are the high up ones, so you really have to stretch. Um, and to me, it just looks more macho, the Gorilla bars. You got the fuel gauges there. They are not painted in. They're just, you know, just solid pieces. Not bad. You got wear on the seats. Or seat, I'm sorry. Well, I guess there is two seats there. You got wear on the seats. Uh, one, the front one, 
It's covered in, uh, looks like black electrical tape. Could be duct tape. I'm not sure. But very nice. I like it. Now let's see if I can get it standing. There we go. All right. Up next, we're going to take a look at Daryl Dixon. All right, so as we have here, as you can see here, we have Daryl Dixon. Let me try and get this level. There we go. All right, and first things first, let's take a look at his crossbow. It come, it does come with the darts. Uh, however, they are non-removable, I believe. Maybe one, yeah, one is removable. In fact, yeah, only one is removable. Uh, however, it does not sit on there well. So, we're going to put it back in place. Ah, oh, no. Oh, no. This is one of the bad things about having very thin pieces like this. All right, so I did get it back. Very nice crossbow. And see, they did not leave off the strings. And of course, the uh, dart, it is a dart, it's not an arrow, it's a dart. Arrows go in long bows, or compound bows. Darts go into crossbows because they're shorter. It would sit right there. And this piece holds back the uh, wire. Pull the trigger, it releases the wire and shoots the dart. And it's even got the foot bracket so that you can hold it down, step in the foot bracket to pull the string back. And it's got the strap. Very nice. Looks very, very used, kind of grimy, but it's supposed to. And then we've got Daryl Dixon here. Very nice likeness of Norman Reedus. Uh, up close, not too much, but at a distance, you can tell it is Norman Reedus. Uh, however, one thing they did forget is Norman's mole on the side of his face there. Uh, however, that's still not bad. Um, got his leather vest with the wings on the back. His sleeveless button-down shirt is brown jeans and boots. I think they're boots. I'm not entirely sure, but I think they're boots. Could be wrong. And he also comes with a hunting knife. Take a look at that. Very nice. I would have I would have actually preferred more of a buoy knife, more of a curve on it. Uh, however, this is nice too. It's uh, kind of a skinning knife. Cause he is a hunter. Uh, in the early seasons, you can see him uh, constantly hunting squirrels rabbits you know you gotta skin them once you get them uh articulation his head is on a ball joint can go up and down side to side spin all the way around exercise ah! his arms are also on a ball joint univer universal joint i believe it's called and go up to there down all the way around uh, the vest, or no, the his shoulder does kind of hinder how far it can move. And that's with both arms. You got 
no bicep swivel, but you've got a ratchet joint at the elbow, and the elbow does turn. I'm trying to be very careful. It's been a while since I messed with this guy. And he does have a double joint at the wrist. Uh, hand can, can rock up and down, side to side, and it can spin around. Very nice. And that's the same with both sides. And then you've got... Um, is that waist... Yes, he does have an ab crunch right there. Kind of blends in with his shirt, really. It looks like another wrinkle in his shirt, uh, but it is ab crunch. And he does have a waist to swivel. His legs go up to there, back to there, out to the side about that far not bad uh, this one is a little bit different because his knife does kind of hinder it a little bit but once you get that out of the way it's pretty much the same way and let's see here you got the knee ratchets and it's on a swivel soft ratchet soft ratchet at the elbow as well You've got ankle, swivel, and rocker. And that's it for articulation. Um, but the detail on this guy is very nice. You got the bronze buttons. Um, however, I'm not sure why they would have buttons on both sides. You only need buttons on one side, and then unless it snaps, that may be. It may snap together. It may not actually be buttons. It may just be snaps. Um, but it actually does look like the style of clothing that he wears in The Walking Dead. And he's got a hole in his knee there. Pant leg. Uh, looks very dirty, very grimy, very Daryl Dixon-esque. Got the pockets on there. Very nice. I Like I said, I did pre-order this guy uh, right before he came out. Um, he, he was about $50 at the time. Now he is about $45. So he's dropped in price about $5. Bucks. Um, and then you add shipping and handling onto that. Uh, it's uh, $10 shipping and handling from Amazon. Still not a bad price for everything you get with this figure. I figured since it is Halloween, it was time to do a proper full-length review on this guy, not have it part of one of our full episodes like we did when we first started, where we just crammed everything into one show and released it all at the same time. It was like an hour long um, figured we'd probably get more views with just the individual figures. And I'll be coming back again, uh, with individual reviews on our Ghostbusters figures as well. Uh, we've got the Ghostbusters classics from Mattel, uh, Peter, Ray, Egon, and Winston that I'll be doing individual reviews on. John did do reviews on them. A little over a year ago, but it was a combined review. He reviewed all of them all at once. So now I'm going to go through and I'm going to review each one individually on the next toy review. So this was the McFarlane Toys, the Walking Dead TV Deluxe box set, Daryl Dixon with Chopper. There's only, at the time of this video, there are only two left in stock on the one that I found, uh, selling for $44.98. Uh, plus $9.49 shipping and handling. So you'd be paying about $55 bucks for it. Uh, and it is worth it. Uh, now this isn't a figure that you should play with. 
Uh, McFarland Toys isn't really known for having the best quality when it comes to joints and articulation. Uh, the joints tend to get loose and break. Uh, so if if it's just as a collector you want it, go ahead, spend the 55 bucks, buy them up, uh, set them on your shelf, pose them however you want. If it's for a kid, however, I would not recommend buying this for them for the holiday season. So anyway, guys, I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV. Take care.